Hey everyone, welcome back to A Disney Dream. In today's video, we are going to be doing a DIY project. It's a Disney shadow box. And today's video is actually a collab with my good friend Carol. Check out her channel, it's carolcarol92. And I'm going to be linking her shadow box video down below in the description bar. So we're both doing Disney themed shadow boxes. And she actually um, asked me if I wanted to do this and I thought it was so cool. So I was like, heck yeah. So I got this shadow box from Michaels and when I bought it, it was on sale, which is like really awesome. It, it was buy one, get one free. And this is an 11 by 14 inch uh, shadow box. You can get this at Michaels or Walmart or any like crafting store, any frame store I think should have it as well. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like when you get it. It has glass on the top and then on the inside it has this well, mine has cardboard foam and a layer of like soft fabric. I'm not sure what kind of like what fabric this is, but it's just like really nice and soft. So I'm going to move this to the side first. And what you can do with these shadow boxes is you can put any of your souvenirs that you got from the Disney parks or whatever theme you're going for. But today is going to be Disneyland. So I have all these things here that I have collected. And these are all from this year, so I'm kind of doing a 60th anniversary theme. I think Carol is doing that as well. But mine is just like everything that I've collected from some of my trips this year. I don't save everything, so these are like kind of the only things that I have saved. So I have like a pressed penny from the 60th anniversary, one of my park tickets, and all these pins that I have purchased. These are all my 60th anniversary pins. We took this nice group photo when we went to the Halloween party. I have a park map and I have the 60th anniversary annual pass holder um, print that they mailed out to everybody with the um, who had an annual pass. So what we're going to do, I'm going to start out by laying out my design and I've practiced, I've kind of already have an idea of how I want this to be. So you're going to want to lay, lay everything out before you start sticking th things in place permanently. So I have my picture, I'm just going to go by the guide because I did already find the layout that I really really like and I'm just going to lay it out. I'm just leaving a little bit of an edge, like a little bit of a hangover on the edge just because when I put it in the frame it sort of has like a little lip so I just want to make sure that everything is within the frame. And I saw a lot of like good shadow box ideas on Pinterest actually. So if you're looking for some inspiration, that's definitely a good place to check. So I'm going to put this up here. And these two pins that I have right here, these are the decades pins. And what's nice is because there's foam underneath here, I can actually just stick these directly in and I don't have to worry about anything falling. Don't have to use any glue or tape or anything like that. And it'll actually hold down this ticket and this picture because it has two pins. So I'm going to position this so that each pin is holding down each item. So it works out perfectly. So now these two items are secure. And then I'm going to remove the backings of the rest of my pins. So since this was buy one get one free, I do have another box and I'm thinking of doing a Disney Cruise Line version. I have to go look for my stuff though. I have a bunch of pictures that we took that I want to incorporate. So I think I'm going to use this one at the top. Actually, no. This one at the top. And I'm just going to, actually I don't want to cover that picture. Let me see how far down I want to go. So that, I'm just referring back to the picture that I took. I have it on my phone. There you go. Yes, okay, so I'm going to stick this down. And just like so. So this one up here is not yet secured down. I can just use these little pins 
because the the shadow box itself actually came with these push pins or clothes what do you call these pins i'm not sure you use these for sewing there you go that looks cute and then maybe the other direction if you use tape make sure you use acid-free tape as well so it won't ruin your pictures and then I have one pin left I think I want to put it down in this corner because this pin that I have right here it's from the 60th oh not 60th it's from the Halloween party and this picture is also from the Halloween party so I'm gonna put it just like right there and then the last thing that I have is my 60th anniversary pressed penny and I was thinking of putting it right there I do need to grab a little bit of tape so let me get that okay I got a piece of tape it's not double-sided so I'm just gonna roll it around and then stick it on the back and then stick this down just like so and I'm done that was actually really easy and really fast another idea that I had that I was thinking of doing was taking one of my Minnie Mouse headbands and sort of using that in the background and then using some other pictures and prop those up but I really liked this idea so maybe I'll save that idea for another project so after I have everything in place we're gonna take the top part of the box I think I'm gonna do it standing up just like this so take this and then put it in like that and voila I see it on the front nothing has moved and this is it you guys the final product I think it came out really really nice I love it it's so super cute and it was so easy to make you guys saw how quickly I put that together I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys go over to my friend Carol's channel and check out what she came up with. I'll have her video linked down below in the description box and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!